Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're using the fantastic Divi Supreme Modules plugin for this today and we've got a contact form here and you can toggle it into a live Google map for directions. Really easy to do, so let's get started. If you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It lets me know whether to make more videos on specific topics or not. Okay, well let's get started. I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll just get rid of what we've got here. I've got a section with a single row with a single column in it. I'm gonna get rid of the row and we'll start again. So I'm gonna add a new row, single column. Now you will need to have Divi Supreme Modules Pro installed and activated to do this today. So let's go down, the light gray ones here, all the ones that you get as standard with the Divi theme, plenty of them. And here are the ones that you get with Divi Supreme Modules and there's about 49 of them. And you can download Divi Supreme free version and pro version from my link below this video. Okay, and that's the one I want today, Supreme Content Toggle. But before we actually put that in, we want to decide what we want to toggle between two different layouts here. So the first thing is going to be a contact form. So what I'm going to do is create a contact form first with the regular Divi Supreme modules. And I'm going to leave it pretty generic, just like that with a submit button. We'll give it a title. And whatever it is you want it to say when the message is sent. Submit button, I'm just going to leave this submit right there. The important part, obviously, is the email that you want it sent to, which you put in the email address here. So me at myemail.com. Okay, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do this for. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now let's save it to our library. And to do that, go up to the little round toggle right here just to the left of the trash can. Left click, we'll give it a name, and we'll call it Contact Form 1, or C Form 1, whatever you want to call yours. Call it what you like, it wants to make sense to you what it is. Okay, we'll save this to our library. Now this is saved to the library, we can go ahead and trash it. And let's create the other thing that we want to toggle to. And I'm going to use a live Google map for this. You can use any kind of module or layout you want. You can use a short code from your library if you prefer. So to create our live Google map, I'm going to go ahead and add a code module. There's a code module. And again, that's a regular Divi module. Now I'm going to go over to Google Maps. I just typed in maps. I've got the White House for an example. Let's get it to where we want it to, the size we actually want, something like that. When you're ready, hit the little share button. And every time I add a Google map this way, I get a question, somebody asking, have you added an API key? Now, if you're doing it this way, you don't need to add an API key. So I'm gonna hit the share button. I wanna go over to embed a map right here. And here's the code. We can hit the copy HTML. Go back to our site here and paste the code inside here. There it is. Now there's one little line I'm gonna change here because that's fine, it's a live Google map, but I want it to take up all the real estate that's available to it in our section here or in our row. So I'm just gonna change the width from 600 there to 100%, making sure not to lop off the inverted commas there. So 100%. And as you can see, it's stretching the available width there. That's great, that's all I need to do. So let's save our map. If you wanna make it deeper, you can do that with a height down below there. But I'm happy with that. Let's save our changes. And again, we're gonna save this to the library. I call it directions. Great, now that's saved to our library. I can trash it also. Okay, now we can add our content toggle from the Divi Supreme modules. But before I do that, I need to save everything on this 
page and refresh it so those library items show up. So I'm going to save a draft of this. While that's saving, if I go to our dashboard and we go down to Divi and to library. Now here's the library and there's the two we just created there, contact form and directions. If you look over here, we've got a short code. Now, when we go into the contact, I'll show you there's an option to add these as short codes if you want to. I just wanted to show you where the short code is. Now you won't see that unless you've got Divi Supreme modules here installed and you've got this button switched to on, enable Divi library shortcodes. So if you're looking to do things with shortcodes today, you've got to make sure you've got that switched on in Divi Supreme Pro, save your changes. Okay, well let's go back up now and we'll get our content toggle up rolled on down Divi Supreme modules down here there's a content toggle and the first one's going to be a contact form so I'll say contact us now here's the content I was talking about just now custom content is just like a regular text box you've got down here so you can add text or whatever or you could put code in if you want to on the text tab there. We could put our Google Map in there. But we saved ours to our library, so I'm going to add it from library. Now the short codes I just showed you was purely because there's an option to add short codes if you want to there. So that's why we showed you those just now. So let's add the library. And it should be right down the bottom here. There it is, direction and contact form one. So we're going to put the contact form in first. There's our contact form. If we go down a bit, let's go to contact two now. And this is going to be our map for directions. And again, we're going to use from the library. Select the layout, should be on the bottom again. There it is right there. Okay, I'm not going to add a background or an admin label. If we go to design, I'll just style the switcher a little bit right there. So I'm going to go into the switcher. I'm going to give it a blue background. I'm going to make it purple on secondary. And I'm going to leave the little dot white right there. Okay, well let's save this and see what we've got here. Save the page changes. And let's exit the visual builder. Okay, so there's our little contact form that they can fill in and send an email if they want to. They flip the switch up here. As you can see, it's changing color. And it's brought up our nice live Google map here. And they can go up there and get directions. That's a nice little feature. So there you go guys, there's how to create a content toggle from contact form to live Google Map with directions. And once again we've been using the fantastic Divi Supreme Modules plugin for this today. You can find the link below the video. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.